just African Americans, but also other minorities in this country. We live in a county that's got a lot of wealth, a lot of wealth. You know, I, I was driving John around, and everywhere you see is a new data, data center, and a new building, and new this, and new that. But underneath it, there's under, under representation. You know, we have a completely white board of supervisors. Not, hopefully, uh, um, Phyllis will take care of that for us, and we're going to work hard to you know, support what, in, in our nonpartisan way. <laughs> in our nonpartisan way, to be sure people are registered and they know the issues. But um, we have a total white, completely white uh, school board. And, and we've got a, a couple of individuals that are running uh, for the school board that, you know, again, in our nonpartisan way, we work hard to try to make sure everyone understands the issues. Um, Last year, I wrote a letter to the city of uh, Leesburg and, and essentially just said, look, you guys have got an issue here with your, with your representation of your, of, your, of your workforce. It doesn't represent your population. And, you know, we had some good people on the, on the city, for, city, city uh, of the, the town of Leesburg. I keep calling the city, but the town yeah. council, and they worked to try to, try to uh, put something together. And, and, and I think, what does that mean? February 10th. February 10th, we'd like to see everybody there supporting uh, development of a diversity commission, which uh, Gladys has been working real hard on trying to trying to move that forward. So February 10th, we would like to see everyone at that meeting to uh, support and show that we need this commission. But we've also got the county, we've got a school board, and we've got uh, a lot of water that are all federal government agencies that take our tax money all the time. You know, we pay our taxes, but we don't have representation in the way we like to see representation. The workforce of all these entities do not re reflect the county. So those are issues that, that, that are uh, high on my agenda that I'd like to you know, work with the NAACP to move forward. Um, we'd like to establish more strategic partnerships. The uh, black fraternities and sororities have all been directed to, to get involved. And we want to work to get them involved. and want them to join with us. and. Uh, uh, work toward you know the issues that we that we're all looking to address um, besides membership we you know I'm looking to bring to establish some new fundraisers um, we'd like to bring the golf tournament back we do tend to have a dinner this year and I like to get ideas on other fundraisers so we can get our we can get the NLACP's finances up so we're able to do some of the things we want to do um, one thing that I, one last thing that I know we're going to have to have is we're going to have to have a designated um, leader of song and, and chorus because <laughs> I can't sing. So I, 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 about it. You know, I don't have a voice like that early. So keep I think in our about. first meeting we'll try to uh, pick out someone to, to lead that effort. But um, again, I want to thank everyone for, for, for coming out. Um, you know, all I can say is we got work to do. And uh, you know, and, and you know, when I hit this, when I when I when I, when I land this down, we're gonna get to work. So again, I appreciate everyone coming, and uh, look forward to working with everybody. Thank you.
nicest restaurant if you can. Okay. Um, so with that being said, um, we're running early. <laughs> lead us again, and Yay. we'll have our benediction. Yay. <laughs> Yay. 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 Yay